you started training thoroughbreds in the early 60s. So. I started, uh, actually, I, 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 when I had quarter horses on the fairs, and I, and I forget what years, I won some races. And being this, this uncle of mine, was a, he, he rode bulls and bucking horses, and he, he made the rodeo circuit, and they used to have relay races at the road, and he, he was weighed about 118 pounds, so, so he was riding races. And uh, he was very instrumental in, in, uh, in helping uh, uh, start quarter horse racing in California. So, you know, oh. Well, then he got his jocks license, and he won the first legalized race on a mare called High Mert that the Europe was owned as a jockey. Oh. And, uh, and then he won the first one that was run at Los Alamitos as a jockey, too. And uh, it just grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and uh, we had a lot of horse, because I was a younger guy, and I used to work with him. And next thing you know, I'm training. See. Yeah. And, uh, and so I transferred over here because I'd done pretty good with the quarter horses, and I sold some pretty high-priced horses. Yeah. And uh, But winning those races at Los Alamitos in those days, you were running for the picture. You went around there. Yeah. So I transferred over as soon as I could over here, and next thing you know, I'm taking my picture in the winter circle here. So, yeah. and I've been lucky enough, I've had a lot of, a lot of good mares. Yes, you yeah, have. You've trained a lot of good, good horses over the yeah. years. And, and now you just had your 80th birthday. What do you think? You're going to keep training for a while? Well, I figure I'll train for another 20 years. Anyway. Yeah, that sounds good. I, honest to God, I feel like a young person. I'm shocked that I live to be 80 years old. But I feel like I'm 35 years old. Yeah. Well, do you think training keeps you young? Keeps you busy, you know, get your mind working all the time. I think it's good for you. Yeah. And, uh, and I ride a horse every morning, and that uh, that keeps you pretty fit. And I walk some horses. And I, you do a lot of walking when you're riding horses. But, uh, but uh, riding horses, you know, when you're riding a horse, he's moving. Your, your whole yeah. body's moving, and, and you stay yeah. pretty fit riding horseback. What do you think is the best thing about being a trainer? <clears throat> it's an outdoor type of work, you know, and it's, I think it's healthy to work on the outside instead of being locked up in an office somewhere. Yeah. And you, but you work every day, which is, is fine with me. I don't mind working every day. Have you always loved what you've done? The only, the only time I haven't trained horses, I went to Korea. And, oh, yeah. uh, you were in the Korean War? I was in the Korean War. I was a master sergeant and turned down a battlefield commission in Korea. Wow. So I was, I was on the front lines, and I was very lucky to get back. <clears throat> you know, I just, hell, every morning I get up at 3.30 in the morning. I've been getting up early all my life. Yeah. And, uh, hell, I'm anxious to get out here and get on my darn horse. After we finish, we have a, like we'll hear at the clockers corner, have a good bull session. Some of these trainers, we compare notes, like Mel Studi and, and when Warren Studi was alive. And uh, uh, all these guys come out there. We've all got different ideas, and, and you can learn from each other just in your in your what I call bull sessions that we have. Yeah. And uh, and uh, some of them are pretty nice guys. And if you don't like them, you stay away from them. I saw you on your pony this morning. Uh huh. I noticed not that many trainers ride horseback. <clears throat> just a handful. And how does that help? you in training? Because you're with your horse all the way. It's just that if you've had experience handling different horses, you you maybe got the edge on some of them that have never been. You see, uh, I think if a person's ridden horseback all, most of his life, he's got an edge as far as studying horses and, and uh, knowing when they're right and wrong. And, uh, and a lot of these guys don't get, don't get on horses they can't ride. Yeah. They're not really, really uh, uh, all-around horsemen. This is my 59th year training. As many, many moons. Yeah. The only time I actually miss it is going to Korea, see. And, uh, yeah. But I've had a hell of a good time. I've had a lot of fun all my life. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to have a lot more. <laughs>